Good morning, nerd fam, and welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at Google Cloud Next, day one of three here on theCUBE. My name's Savannah Peterson, joined by my fabulous, brilliant brains, John and Rebecca. Thank you both for being here. Busy start to the day, very exciting. You're smiling, you're smiling. We don't look too dried out yet, <laughs> it's a great sign. This show floor is really pumping. Energy yeah. levels yeah. are high, Yeah, yeah. we'll say that. Yeah, Energy absolutely. levels are high, and I think largely because of some of the most exciting announcements this morning <laughs> coming out of the Workspace Group. Michael, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me today. How, I, today is a huge day for you. Of course, we have seen a, a lot of nice and amazing announcements. If you've seen the keynote earlier today, I think it's a, a fantastic day to, uh, yeah, uh, to enjoy and to experiment with a, a lot of new features. And uh, I'm very proud of what the, the product team on the Workspace side has built and, uh, and shown earlier today. Yeah, give us some of the highlights. Well. I would say the, the biggest and coolest ones, uh, one feature that I saw, and I just met a few people by walking over here to your stage, was surely the Google Wits announcement, where you can really create videos simply with just with a simple prompt, uh, which is something people were really looking forward to say, okay, I need to create new animations and graphics to make things much more interactive and to create, yeah, much more fascinating presentation, uh, presentations. And I think people were waiting long for this, and actually this was a bit of this wow effect, and I heard it also in the audience, so we're quite proud of that, of course. Another cool thing was, of course, also the, the watermarking feature that we announced for Google Slides, uh, or when you just do presentations that you can share automatically watermarks in the background so that you can follow up um, where things or data might have gone, as well as other features and highlights that you can have reactions in Google Sheets to see when, when data is, is, uh, is changed and updated. Did you see, okay, there was something different now. Uh, you realize it's much more interactive, it makes it much more exciting for you to work and handle data and uh, even spreadsheets. So yeah, and this was just, uh, just a few of the things we announced today, which we are quite proud of, and uh, yeah, I would say interesting. What's the big difference from the last year? Obviously, the Vids is a cool product that's going to change the, the game in the creator, marketing departments, and a lot of other things yeah. too, from transcriptions. Just the, the, the creation tools is big, and we've seen the massive change over the user experiences they want that yeah. generative vibe, right? So what's the big change from last year to this year? If you had to point at it, is it more generative? Is it more Gemini? Is it more, what was the big enhancements this year coming in just from eight months ago? I think last year we started with a few announcements that uh, took a while to, to become available. People wanted to test it and try it, which is for many features we announced last year already ha happened already. And I think we created a lot of features that were able to do e uh, create you emails, texts, etc. But now, after being able just to create images out of a prompt, which we had in Google Slides for a couple of months already, now with doing even videos and making it more interactive, uh, yeah. and that Chenea helps you to create more content, makes it more interesting, and I think more more active, the, no matter what you produce, what content you do, I think this is the big difference that it's really more interactive for everything what you do now. I noticed Gmail has a voice prompt, yeah. help me write, that's cool, <laughs> I can always use that. And then polish my draft, that's, a, what is that, like a spell check, or what is, explain some of the new Gmail features. Yeah, so uh, one of the coolest features you mentioned before is also that you can just, on the go on your mobile, just say, okay, you know when we are on the rush, yeah. typing on the mobile while walking, I mean, come on, how many typos, typos does everyone have? Yeah. A, a lot, even oh, if you're yeah. a good, a good Everyone's doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just yeah. okay, just record the sentence what you say. It understands it, translates it, and creates an amazing response email while walking, uh, as if you would have been sitting on your desk writing it for half an hour. So I think it's just not just a time saver; it's also a, a fascinating feature feature that has been has been built. And also reviewing documents and 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 everything what it can do now is just making everything much easier. Spell checks and stuff has yeah. have never been easier yeah. before. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that's a, it's, it's a good thing because I know Kevin Roos of the New York Times said that a writing an AI makes you sound like an obsequious dork. So uh, <laughs> hopefully the polish my draft is, is just a little bit more you when you're, yeah, when you're yeah. talking. I want to, you're, we're talking right now, but the, the head spinning number of product announcements and updates that we had this morning, but I want to take it back to the beginning because you were one of the first, your first experience with Google goes back to 2006 when you were one of the first beta testers. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to have you just reflect a little bit on how far the technology has, has come during that time. Yeah, well, I, I would say it has changed a lot. <laughs> it's just not even enough to say. From a browser-based collaboration system, back then it was even, I remember the time, 2006, when I, even I was on the IT side, when people said, oh, you, you're giving out your, the control of your mail system to someone else. That was back then a quite a different thing. 
but of course it was the, the start of something new. Now we are, let's say, fully browser-based, making it simple, and you can do so much more. You only need your browser to create animations, pictures. You have support creating emails, content, documents. It's just a different way of working compared to uh, 2006 when we started with that. And I think the users are more fascinated. I mean, it confirms we have over three billion users that use our platform, which is quite a lot, and I think we're quite three proud billion, of that. Three billion, yeah, 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 sure. And so, uh, with that said, uh, we built an amazing product that is now, I would say, the standard for emailing and everybody knows yeah. how to use it. No matter if you're quite junior or even higher age, everybody has, or let's say many people have at least a Gmail account, so they know how to use it and what Google Workspace can do. And with all these new features that are now available also for many uh, in the public that you can try it out uh, with Gemini, we got an amazing feedback and people love the features, of course, that we have. Michael, Let's I got to oh, sorry. I got to ask you about the ecosystem because the big theme we're seeing emerge again: more horsepower, classic cloud problem. Get more GPUs, TPUs. Check the user experience. Expectations are generative, and the other one's the ecosystem. Last year we observed massive uptake and energy and enthusiasm around what's going on in workspaces. What's the ecosystem look like now, and how do people get involved as partners as you guys open up workspaces to the, this new user experience, this next big thing? What are some of the highlights and are you guys looking for more partners in certain areas? How would you just talk about the partner equation? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, our uh, it, it's uh, it's important for us to have partners working uh, and supporting workspace, of course, as well. So we have seen also a lot of interest and more interest from partners to uh, yeah start offering selling workspace big, and everybody's trying out as well Gmail here, uh, not just with the good old let's say creating emails. They want to see how Gemini is working, and I think adding Gemini to Google Workspace created a lot more interest, so that we have also not just from the customer side the demand covering the interest, so that they can also roll it out and sell it to more and more customers having the features available that we announced, not just last year, also just today, <laughs> to yeah, use it in yeah. their day-to-day -day business. You see a lot of the partners on the show floor today. You've got Partner yeah. of the Year awards everywhere. Definitely an ecosystem play. One of the things that I think we can all agree that Google's always been known for is a really easy user experience. When you're rolling out these yeah enormous new tools. I mean, it, being able to create video from a natural language prompt is, is an achievement, and especially doing it in a way that feels real and fast enough. How much, what's that feedback loop like within your customers and your community as you're developing these features? Well, first of all, there were really a lot of people that wanted to try it out, to say, okay, wow, I can just I'm have a, 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 <laughs> short, a short sentence and it creates something for me, wow. So yeah. the interest is, is, is amazing. And we see a lot of people try it out and they, it creates a lot of more, let's say, innovation. We see a lot of companies coming back saying, wow, we have, we have given access to Gemini now to different departments and we learned how the, that the feedback is quite different. So people that might have never been able to or interested uh, or have never done graphic creation, we got feedback that they say, okay, oh, now this helps us that even more people can picture and create what they're thinking, so that even projects have been created faster and in a completely different way, and everybody was able to make it more interesting. And even adding then, let's say, the features in Google Meet to have then, uh, let's say, studio lightning and better quality around, or the audio features that are coming up as well soon that make it available much more convenient for people to having video calls, better quality of understanding, uh, et cetera. So people love the features and everybody wants to try it out. I think this was really one of these 10 AI moments that is still up at the peak level that everybody wants to experiment really what is that, what yeah. can we do here. Yeah. What was the first video you made? I'm dying to know. Uh, no, for me it was just trying out how, let's say, uh, have a cat walking around in a room. Because it's a very simple thing because, I mean, find a real cat that does what you want to do it, <laughs> want right. to do. So, <laughs> so just to have something creative here was just amazing. I don't think they fly, but you know. Yeah, they yeah I didn't have to have, to, to, uh, to have the flying cat, no, but it's just, to have something created in yeah. that, it was just, it was so easy. Yeah. If you do it the first time, when you think, okay, this must take now ages to see, but it's just, you know, it takes a few seconds and off you go. And this the simplicity of building this yeah. now is really a, a game changer and a big difference now for the I, users as on well. On the keynote, uh, Thomas Curry and have, was, when he had the other announcement about grounding in Google search, I thought it was a pretty big deal given that, that there's a lot of data in Google search. He then said grounded in the enterprise data. So I want to get your thoughts on how you guys see the enterprise's value of the uh, workspaces because they got data too. Like I get all the spam emails come into me, they all look the same. Can I just get Gemini to like take care of that? And what are some of the things that's going to go on in the enterprise? Because I know there's a HubSpot announcement in there. Uh, you got all these other productivity tools like we live on Google Docs and Google Sheets. Can I just have that be organized for me? I mean, what's the future for like, us productivity workers? 
me too. Okay. I'm on this train. Like, we yeah. can beta like, testers for that. Just the normal like, people. We actually yeah. had searched our cube schedule, and it's now yeah. we, were, we can search it. Where's the cube going to be in April? And it comes back to, from the sheet. So there's more low-code, no-code stuff coming down the pike. What's the productivity angle and the data angle for the enterprise with workspaces? Well, There's a lot in there, but go take there it. There is a lot, I agree, yeah, absolutely. Good. So, the, a good question here. So, the point clearly is, uh, for example, sidebar, which we announced, where you can just uh, click on it and you have this small little prompt on the right hand side, and you can just say, hey, create me an overview or a summary of my latest Cube video productions we had, how many users, et cetera, based on this Google Sheets file, and really link the documents you have available and get a, a half page response, created a draft, an overview of feedback, you would, uh, what you wanted to know. But in the old school days, you probably might have gone and look it up in 10 different files and read through it, fine. It can do and access every data you have available in your Google Drive, for example, and build an output based on that. So for enterprises, of course, it saves time, makes outcomes and outputs done in a few seconds, and also I think it, it helps you, of course, to find things <laughs> if you're lost in finding data and the things, of course, yeah. And better presentation formats, probably, for us, the same old style I use. I'm terrible at PowerPoint. You speak for yourself and, and on that Google one for your, yeah. <laughs> Power, no, I said PowerPoint, I mean, Google Slides. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a different, it will help you of course as well, yeah. John, yeah. yeah, it's a different. Well, I, I think, and I mean, it, it needs to be intuitive and, and you're meeting people where they are. I'm sure you had some, some of your existing customers already in mind when you were creating a lot of these new features. Yeah. I'm curious if you've been surprised by the response by say, different group of customers perhaps that you weren't attracting before or even different types of creators now empowered by this. Toolkit. Yeah, so it's, of course, we always have uh, early test uh, customers that try out the things, or even some people, not just, uh, let's say, consumers, also enterprises, come back and say, hey, what about this idea? What about these features? So we, of course, try to build something that uh, will be asked by the audience, but also helps us to shape creativity. So when we try out and pass these features to our customers, we want to know, do you like it? Are your users, are your people using it? And we try, of course, to collect this feedback. And the feedback was really, to, um, usually this, this big wow effect. So people say, wow, it's great. I'm so pro more productive. And people automatically come back and say, wow, I can, it saves so much time. And I can help do it, I can, do, I can focus on the most important things instead of doing less of my administrative work, filling out things, searching for things. Just say, okay, I have here five different Google Sheets files. I want to create an offer, a proposal for my customer. I can just tag them in this Google uh, sidebar, in the prompt, and it creates it for me in just a few seconds seconds where people said they have spent at least half an hour or even more before. So I think the, the, the feedback that we, that we are happy to hear is it saves time, it gives them yeah. value, and they like it, of course. Can you share any stats on the business momentum, on around the revenue, customer base, some exciting highlights? What's the numbers look like in the, in the workspace area? So yeah, we have, we have already over 10 million paying customers that are using our services and the number of course is growing a lot. As I said, the three billion users we have for the, uh, for the workspace side is growing fast and we immediately had a very high number of users that wanted to try out Gemini yeah. and, uh, in workspace. And the feedback that I get mm -hmm. regularly when I run around here and some people speak to me, everybody wants to try out the very new things. <laughs> Even after, when I left the keynote session, everybody said, okay, can you switch it on for me now? I want to try yeah. it. So everybody wants to see, they see the the life experience and get a feeling on it. The interest is very, very high and the demand is yeah. also there, so I will see yeah. it, uh, yeah. Well, we're a customer, so we, you know, we're, we're a proud customer of Google since the beginning of SiliconANGLE. We didn't have an IT department, we still don't. You know, that's the best part of having the managed service, so a lot of goodies. What can we expect as a business, small business growing up with Google all these years? Good question. More automation, what would you say to our team and me? Our, yeah, we will, of course, focus on making your, uh, let's say, the way how you collaborate and work much easier and faster. We will continue to help building amazing products for our customers and users, so that it helps you save time as well, and you will be able to create very cool outputs uh, with simple prompts, and I think the, the more interesting thing that we hear from customers, that everybody is now trying around and experimenting with, who does yeah. the better prompt? Which cool output can I create <laughs> with a short sentence or just doing five line sentences and having an animation, a video, a graphic, a text? And that's, I think, one of the things that everybody yeah. is focusing on. You will, everybody gets more and more used how to use prompts to create the outcome that he or she wants. We're all prompt engineers now. now we're, we're, we're competing all the time exactly. for prompts. Let me get in there. Yeah. <laughs> so as, as, as a work 
we're a workplace ev workspace evangelist, sorry. Um, I know that a lot of your job revolves around, um, around thought leadership, around the future of work. Yeah. And when I'm not with theCUBE, my, my day job is as a journalist covering the future of work. I'm interested to hear what you think is missing from the conversation in the mainstream media. I mean, I think we're all really interested in how we'll be doing our jobs Great in the question. future. But, but what do you think is really, what do you think is not being talked about that, that you think is a really missing, and, missing element? I think it will be more and more that we will talk about how Gen AI will change the workplace the way we work and how we interact with each other and what everybody can build. With all these features and tools and prompts that we are using now and have available yeah. already, um, more and more employees, users will learn how their job can change or will change and how things can be done easier. I think we should talk really more already what's possible for the user so that more and more people get, even get the interest also to try out Gen AI in their day-to-day -day job, using Gemini for their day-to-day -day job and their collaboration solution. And the feedback is just always so amazing. And I think that we can highlight that and that will be a big, big portion when it comes to talking about the future of work. The Gen AI will have his space there yeah. to stay and not just to say hello once. Uh, <laughs> and this is something what I would say we can really highlight more and more that we show people what's possible when you add 10 AI features in collaboration solutions like Google Workspace. You know, Rebecca, that's a great question. The, the next yeah. step I would take it is, okay, developers, now as we start seeing open source developers with the models merging, they have 130 models in Vertex uh, available. Yeah there's going to be a tsunami of apps. And if you look at what mm -hmm. the, they said in the keynote, I thought was interesting, because last year we were raving about the model garden. Love the name, model <laughs> garden. It implies things are growing and being generated there. I won't go there, Savannah. What they're growing is a whole other story. But now they're like, okay, model gardens, model builders, and agent builders. So you're starting to see agents emerge as the hottest conversation. Not chatbots, but agents that have reasoning skills. So you're starting to see that next level indication coming. What is the developer appetite now for workspaces? How do you guys see that developer portion? Obviously you got a developer cloud, you're the collaboration cloud. What's the developer angle on this? What's the, where's the action and what should developers be thinking? Well, I think we enable with all the, all the features and tools that we've shown and already built in the last, let's say, six to 12 months, we enable developers in a complete different way to build more things faster, more efficient, and probably also in, in, in new ways. And we will also help, let's say, developers with low skills or low experience or less experience than others to also build bases and start uh, building some very cool things very quickly. And especially when you build things, yeah. sometimes some things could, can't be built fast enough. And I think we help engage the velocity really to, to build yeah. and uh, create something. And uh, you see agents is hot too, right? I mean, yeah. they, they, you had one customer agent example in there. Are there other examples of agents emerging that you can share? Um, we have seen, of course, also with uh, combining Vertex AI with Workspace that you can really connect, let's say, one customer that wanted to, uh, to connect this uh, complaint uh, database, when you know, feedback from customers, that they can respond faster to their customers with issues, et cetera. So that it takes out the issues that it got back from the customer, uh, let's say, when customer reports came in, it helps the agent to respond and build a response to the, to the customer much faster. So the interactions with many, many more customers in less time will help to, of course, usually increase increase the customer satisfaction and maybe also help solving problems with your issues or customers yeah. that uh, a client might have. Spreading more happiness. I think that's something that we all want happiness, to achieve. Yes. Yes. So you talked a lot about some of the at scale applications. I got two questions that, that dovetail together here for you. One, do you think toolkits like what you've just announced are going to usher in a new series of entrepreneurs? And on the back of that, or businesses perhaps, I mean like we said, there's so many partners on the floor here with us today. And, and then on the back of that, do you have some examples that have really delighted you in terms of use cases or things that you've seen created as a result of some of these newer tools? Well, the feedback we get, especially when you say talking about entrepreneurs, yes, many people are now feeling more confident to build things in, yeah, to even build things in a way they've never done it. Others that said, well, I don't have, let's say, 10 people building graphics or uh, images for me, they can now do it, at least a first instance, get it done. So I think, yes, absolutely, there will be probably more people being able to create stuff, which they've never done before, or were even not confident to do it. So I think Gen AI helps in many ways now to uh, shape or help these entrepreneurs and even, even startups to build things faster or on their own uh, and make it more efficient and create also, using the word you said before, more happiness broadly on the customer side, of course. 
I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's great. Okay, I got uh, perhaps one of our last questions for you today. Johnny referenced last year, big announcements this year. What do you hope you're able to say sitting next to us when we have you on the show at the next Google Cloud Next that you can't say yet today? Oh, I'm, I'm looking uh, forward on one of the features we announced a couple of months ago was the attend for me. Did you can send even the 10 AI to the meeting for you? So maybe next time the AI will sit here and does the meeting for me instead. Yeah. No, but just. <laughs> wow. but that's well, we'll have agents on our behalf, yeah, working on our behalf. We'll, we'll, we'll all we'll be animated. Um, we'll use yeah. Google Vid. Yeah. yeah. Holograms. <laughs> Holograms, et cetera. Yeah. No, but it's, uh, I think there are a lot of new things coming and uh, everybody wants to try it out. And I think as soon as everybody had the chance to experience the features we announced today, yeah. many things changed. And I'm looking forward to see a lot of uh, yeah. customers or even prospective customers getting their hands on the new uh, Google Workspace Gemini features that we announced today or in the last couple of months to get uh, to see what's, what's possible in using it uh, and to change the way how they collaborate in the future. I, I love it. Well, you know you've got happy customers sitting right here, and I, I know <laughs> I speak for the three of us when I say we can't wait to get our hands on that. Michael, thank you so much for being on the show, and congratulations again on the absolute plethora of announcements from your group this week and from everything else going on at Google. And thank all of you for tuning in from home or wherever you happen to be on this beautiful rock to our live coverage here on theCUBE in Las Vegas, Nevada at Google Cloud Next. My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.